mighty is the Lord our God Great and mighty is He Great and mighty is the Lord our God Great and mighty is He Lift up the banners, let the anthem rise To Christ the King Great and mighty is the Lord our God Great and mighty is He You are the words and the music You are the song that I sing You are the melody You are the harmony Praises to Your name God, you are the Lord of Lords, you are the King of all kings. Now I return to you the song that you gave to me, you are the song that I sing. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord. Let the anthem rise to Christ the King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words. words in, in what, what I have, I have done, done, in what, in what I, have I have failed to do, to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most fault. grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. mercy on your people gathered here. Christ have mercy on your people gathered here. of the world 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. <coughs> Thus says the Lord, You shall not wrong a stranger or oppress him, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall not afflict any widow or orphan. If you do afflict them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry and my wrath will burn and I will kill you with the sword. Your wives shall become widows and your children fatherless. If you lend money to any of my people with you who is poor, you shall not be to him as a creditor and you shall not extract interest from him. If ever you take your neighbor's garment in pledge, you shall restore it to him before the sun goes down, for that is his only covering. It is his mantle for his body. In what else shall he sleep? And if he cries to me, I will hear, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Our response. I love you, Lord, my strength. Kindly repeat. I love, I love you, Lord, my, my strength. strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my savior. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I'm saved from my foes. Our response, I, I love, love you, Lord, Lord my, my strength. strength. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praised be the God who saves me. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed. Our response, I, I love, love you, Lord, Lord my, my strength. strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction, with joy inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything, for they themselves report concerning us what a welcome we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait for his son 
from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. Jesus, who delivers us from the rod to come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise for the acclamation. and dwelt among us. To all who received him, he gave power to become children of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that he silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, there was a king and one day he asked the learned and the wise people from his kingdom to come and meet him. So when they came, he ordered them to write down all the wisdom of the world. And so the learned and the wise people of his kingdom started writing. And they took almost 20 years to write all the wisdom of the world. And they came to the king after 20 years with 100 volumes of books and they said, Your Majesty, all the wisdom of the world is packed in these books. And by that time the king was already 60 years of age and he said, It is impossible for me to read all these 1,000 books and therefore he said reduce it to the basics and then again they started working on reducing all the wisdom of the world to the basics and they take almost 10 years and after 10 years they come to the king and they give to the king see we have reduced uh, into 100 books all the wisdom of the world. By the time the king was 70 years of age and he said, at this age, it's difficult for me to read even 100 books. So now you go and condense it to the absolute essentials. And then they took some more years and they came before the king with 
one book and they said we have reduced to the absolute essentials all the wisdom of the world and it is in this one book and at that time the king was already on his deathbed and he said now I cannot see properly even to read one book is impossible so one of you just tell me in one statement all the wisdom of the world and then one among them he says to the king see people live people suffer people die but what outlives them is love what makes them live even after their death is acts of love my dear friends this is a story now i will tell you a fact you know in the initial months of the pandemic italy was very bad there were a lot of cases every day of the corona virus and every day people were dying there was no place in the hospitals there were no ventilators it seems one priest was admitted in the hospital with the virus and elderly priest in his 80s and all the ventilators were used there were no more ventilators only one was left and the doctors anticipated that he would require the ventilator soon and that's why that one ventilator was kept for him and then after that you see another person was admitted someone in 40s having children having family and his condition also was becoming very bad and there was a need also of a ventilator for him so there was only one ventilator which was kept for the priest so the priest said i have lived many years in this world but this young person has to live for more years he has a family so you give the ventilator that is kept for me to him and then the ventilator was given to this uh, young married man and the priest was left without any ventilator and the priest condition became worse the next day and then in in few days he died my dear friends definitely for this act of sacrifice this priest will be rewarded by god and there's no doubt this family of this young man will remember this priest every day and he will live in their thoughts in their memories forever my dear friends with this at the back of our mind let us try to understand the message that is contained in today's readings today's first reading from the book of exodus our attention is drawn towards showing special love and care towards certain uh, section of the people in the society the first reading speaks of first strangers special care should be taken of the strangers because you see they were the non jews among the hebrews they had no place of their own land of their own they had no house of their own they did not belong to any group any clan any tribe so always there was a tendency to despise them to neglect them to ignore them and that's why today's first reading is telling pay attention to them love them then the other group of people that is mentioned is widows especially widows when they had no children there was a tendency to exploit them rich people would 
exploit them, the widows. And that's why it is said, love the widows, take care of them. Then it, about the orphans, orphans were exploited by the rich. The rich would buy the orphans with money and they would turn them into slaves. Then another section of the people not mentioned in today's reading, but the Bible, even the uh, New Testament speaks of the anafim, the poor, materially poor. They also need special attention, special love and care. So the first reading is drawing our attention on our love towards our neighbor. And today's gospel, my dear friends, like any other good teacher, Jesus, after teaching the people for almost three years, towards the end, he draws the attention on the basics, on something that belongs to the essence of our faith. And even the church, you see, has arranged the readings in such a way throughout the liturgical year. And as we now come towards the end of the liturgical year, after a few Sundays, liturgical year will come to an end. And towards the end of the liturgical year, you will see the church has arranged the reading in such a way, also draws attention on something that belongs to the basics, to the essence of our faith. And that is what we find in today's gospel, love of God, love of neighbor is the essence of our faith. One spiritual writer says Christianity is a religion that is based on relationship and the essence of this relationship is love of God and love of neighbor. True worship, true worship is love of God and love of neighbor. The entire Bible, if you say, summarize in just one statement, entire Bible is love of God and love of neighbor. Lest rest everything you can say is a commentary or explanation. All the Ten Commandments in just one statement, love of God, love of neighbor. My dear friends, we can even recall at this mind the judgment sin that is given by Matthew in his gospel, chapter 25. What will be the criterion for our salvation, for eternal life? How much acts of love have you performed? Whatever you have done to the least of my brethren, you have done it to me come into my kingdom. So salvation, redemption, eternal life, the criterion is how much you loved God and how have you shown it. Love of God has to be shown by loving neighbor. Saint John in one of his letters says, if someone says that I love God and doesn't love his neighbor is a liar. Saint James in his Letters he is saying, he says, pure faith, pure religion, undefiled religion is love of God and love of neighbor. My dear friends, let the essence of our faith, the pillars of our faith sink in our heart, in our mind. Love of God, love of neighbor. Even the theology of the cross, if you look at the cross, the cross has two dimensions. Vertical and horizontal. Vertical dimension, love of God. Horizontal dimension, love of neighbor. So even the cross of Jesus, which is the fundamental or the basic symbol of our faith, is drawing our attention on these two aspects, the two sides of the same coin, something that is inseparable, love of God, love of neighbor. Let us ask God's grace in this Mass so that we live our life as per the essence of our faith. We stand and profess our faith in the triune God,
in Mother Mary, in all other truths of our faith as we all together say, I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, the Creator, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and, earth, and in, in Jesus Christ, Christ His Son, only Son, our Lord, our Lord who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, of the Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, died and was and buried. Was buried. He, descended he descended into hell. Into hell. On, the On the third day, day he rose again, again from, from the dead. The dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now place before God our prayers, our petitions. For the Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that as leaders of the church, they may so live their lives that the faithful may imitate them, just as Paul has become an example worthy of imitation. We pray. Good Father, please hear our prayer. Grant us mercy and grant us care for each other in you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Alleluia. That we may show love for our neighbor and come to the assistance of the needy persons, thereby fulfilling the second part of the greatest commandment, we pray. Father, please hear our prayer. Grant us mercy and grant us care for each other in you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Alleluia. That there may be no person in communities who has no one to love, for children are far away, whose relatives keep away that when the dear ones fail to love, the community may assume that role, we pray. Good Father, please hear our prayer. Grant us mercy and grant us care for each other in you. In this time of pandemic, we may be extra loving towards our neighbor. And God, looking at our service towards our neighbor, may liberate us soon from this pandemic. We pray. Good Father, please hear our prayer. Grant us mercy and grant us care for each other. God, our loving Father, with faith and confidence, we have placed before our prayers. If it is your will, grant them to us. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down a spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again When we eat this bread Till you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co as to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Fully and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not, I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you thou should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul souls. shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Maria, wondrous lady, you are the mother of God and of people. Given to us from heaven.